see me rolling, they hating, patrolling and trying to catch me riding dirty, 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 trying to catch me riding dirty. Hi everyone and welcome to Three Minutes with Dina and Danny. Dina and Danny. I'm Danny. I'm Dina. And thanks for watching us. And don't forget to put to click the like button on top of our page. So you might want to start it off, Danny. Today, as you all know, is a watermelon day. But before I start educating you on the importance of watermelon, I would like to inform you too that it's also Grab Some Nuts Day. And as you all know, watermelon consists of 92% water. Fun fact. And there's, all, there's 300 types of watermelon only in the United States and in Mexico. Don't get me started about other countries because I will go on and on and on about how there's cubicle shaped watermelons. Cubicle. I won't start because we're not talking about that. Go ahead, Dina. So, first of all, I'm going to start you off with Microsoft. We can download it for free starting August 1st, so that already started. You can go to the website myutpa.edu and download your Microsoft Office on Windows 7. For free, please take advantage of that opportunity. Also, we have the hydration station going on next week, August 7th. So be sure to go pick up your little water bottle, I think water cup, I'm not sure what they're giving it to you in, at 12 o'clock at the Student Union. Be on time. And bring your ID card. And make sure. On um, another note, I know Gina has some very interesting information to talk to you about the Olympics. I'm so, did you know that, did you? that Olympians are being overstocked with contraceptives? There's more than 10,000 uh, young men and women at the head living quarters. <laughs> they are being provided with thousands of condoms. Thousands. Yeah, and actually athletes are implementing heavy demands on contraceptives. And it's amazing how, like, they would do that. Maybe they don't want them from then. They want to save them for later. And they have, you know, who's busy. But also, um, even athletes admit it. Actually, one of the 2008 gold medalists, um, her name, it, I think it's Hope Solo, she even said that it's common to see people... <laughs> Getting down and dirty. I mean, like a millionaire. Oh God! They're exactly. Writing dirty. Except they're not. Oh, maybe they are writing. <laughs> well, I mean, it makes sense because they're the most best-looking people in the world. I mean, and they're fit. And is it understandable? Plus, is it healthy? It's definitely healthy. I've read some fun facts um, that it's it helps you burn calories and it keeps you well fit. It's good for your health too. One of the doctors at Fox News even said sex is common at the Olympics. It's necessary and it's natural. So that's so. Weird. Before you start thinking dirty about the Olympians, it's totally normal, guys. We're all adults here. So. Well, we'd like to thank you for tuning in to our first three minutes with Dina and Danny. Remember, she's Dina and I'm Danny. And Stay tuned to our next video. Make sure to like the page though. And PA student. Please like it and like our video. Thank you. Thank you. Go Bronx! Go Bronx! Go Bronx.